This little tutorial is so you can see all of the different Folksy Florals Procreate brushes in use. I'm using the Bouquet One Folksy Florals template um, to show you all these different brushes, and I'm gonna try and do each flower, or at least a few different flowers, in different brushes. So we're gonna turn down the opacity on our template, make a new layer, pull it down underneath our template, and get going. My favorite um, brush in this whole set is this textured filler slash liner. The reason why I call it a filler and a liner is because if you make it small, it's perfect. Let's see, let's do this pink floral instead. It is perfect for doing these thin detailed lines like on stems, Once I fill in a leaf, let's make it a little bigger to fill things in. Once I have a leaf that's filled in, if I wanted to do some detail lines on top, make it smaller again. Nope, oh, that's a little big. I can do some of those detail lines and that looks really nice. Um, so that's one great thing about this if you turn it down pretty small, but also if I make a new layer and bring that to the bottom, if I wanted to do kind of like a, a pink circle or something behind this whole bouquet, a really light pink circle, and I bring this up high, now I can draw really big with it and it has a nice textured edge, nice texture there in the middle that almost looks like chalk. It's kind of hard to see, but I promise it's pretty. <laughs> Try it out for yourself. And so you can use this one big or really small and it still works beautifully. Next on the list is the Chalky Filler Liner. It works in a very similar way. So let's use this one for the next little branch over here. So we're gonna make it pretty small. This one is a little bit more airy of a texture to it. This, the textured filler liner is more dense while the chalky filler liner just has a little bit more tooth. You can go over it again if you want it a little more filled in or you can make it a little smaller and that helps a bit if you want it more filled in. But the cool part about this one is that it has more of that chalky, not all the way filled in texture that just give th gives things a different look than the filler liner, or the textured filler liner. Just like the other one, this one can be used small like this. The smaller that you get, the more noticeable those um, empty spaces are. So if I make this really small to draw some detail lines on these leaves, it becomes pretty light. Um, because we're missing a lot of those spots. So it can be a nice little added detail just to add some subtle lines, but it doesn't give a super thick line like the textured liner does. This one also is great for using with backgrounds. So let's add another layer on top of this background and let's do a little bit darker of a pink and make this chalky liner bigger. So I can go, let's make it a little bigger. I could go on top of my bottom layer now and it just adds another layer of texture to this. Let's turn off that one. So if I use that one as my background, you can see there's a lot more holes. It's a lot. Um, a lot more transparent, but it gives a nice texture, especially if you just do one big stroke of it. Beautiful texture behind there. I'm gonna turn on both of those layers so that we can have them kind of layered on top of each other. So that is the Chalky Filler Liner. The next one is the Rough Round. This one is more just for small details or more solid filled in. It doesn't have as much um, detailing on the inside. It's mostly just the detailing along its edges. So let's do the next set of leaves with this brush. Come over here. As you can see, there's a little bit of texture in the middle, but mostly that texture 
is on the outside edges of this brush. It's almost a little bit spiky as it goes down, but it's a lot more filled in than either the textured or the chalky filler liners. But it still has that toothy edge to it that gives your piece really nice texture to it. This one can also be good if you're wanting to fill in large areas of color without too much texture. This one can fill things in well, like if I wanted to make it bigger, I can fill in a large section and just have that fuzziness be along the outside, not on the inside. It works well to do little details, like the lines on these leaves. It can get pretty small and fine details while still being able to be seen, which is really nice. You can still see those. They don't disappear as much as they do with the chalky liner. Okay, so that is the rough round. The funky liner is what it sounds like. It's mostly for lines. You can use it to fill things in, but it's been created to be more of a liner brush. So if we come up here to this, it almost has a bubble texture to it that just gives a really interesting look. And you can use it to fill things in. Once again, it's gonna just give kind of that bubbly texture of little circles being piled on top of each other. Unlike the other brushes, this one, it can be big, but it is going to give you um, a more visible circle um, pattern to it. If that's what you're looking for, then great. But this was created to be more of a liner brush to be used smaller for little details, like adding funky lines to a leaf. Okay, next is the dotty liner. So this one is fun for added little details. Let's say we wanted to add some little white dots down some of the middle of these leaves. That is what the dotty liner does. You could add things like that. You can use it for borders. I probably wouldn't actually keep my leaf like that. <laughs> if I wanted to do a border around this circle, let's say in like a bright pink, then I could take this around the edge and I get that nice kind of uneven dot. It's not perfect circles and they don't come perfectly in a line. This one can also come bigger if you want larger circles. You can also use it to just dot individual circles if you don't want a straight line but you want something where you don't have to fill in and actually color in the dots, you can use it that way. So let's show this one new layer Let's use this peach color. I'm gonna use the rough round to draw this flower. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. So if I had this flower and I wanted to have a little white dotted border, then I can go over here to my dotted liner. And I could, oh, let's make that a little smaller. And I could do some cute little detail lines on the flower with that dotted liner. Really cute. All right, our next is the smooth liner. This one is similar to the rough round, but it has a much smoother edge on it and hardly any texture in the middle. So let's use this to do our next set of leaves. Can do these ones right here. Nope, that's a bit thick, but you can see that it just kind of has this kind of ripped paper edge look to it. So let's turn that down a bit. It draws really smoothly. And as you can see, when I fill that in, it is pretty thick. 
not much texture happening in the middle of that brush. It's mostly just to give that little ruffled edge along the edges. You can, you can also use it for little details. It's great for drawing little lines. It's also great for lettering. I love using this one for lettering that has just a bit of texture to it, but is still really legible. The cloudy filler liner is similar to the textured liner and the chalky liner, but it gives an even more textured look to it. So let's do our next set of leaves. Make it small, bring it in here, let's make it a little bigger. There we go, that's better. So you can see it's kind of just has, I don't know, a cloudy look to it. It's kind of an in-between the textured liner and the chalky liner. And it also likes to build up upon itself. So as you draw more, it gets a little darker. And it can be used small to do little details, but like the chalky liner, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see when it's small but it can be seen a little better than the chalky liner in my opinion. And this one also can be done big. So let's add a new layer and let's do a white on top here and let's make it really big. You can see this really adds a very subtle texture that background that really looks like clouds. So that is the cloudy filler liner. And these last two are purely, well, not purely, I shouldn't say any of them are purely one thing because you can do what you want with them, but they're created to be um, texture brushes. There's, it also can do large, the speckle texture can do large areas. Let's do this color, we'll make this a little smaller, bring that big. Oh, let's go on the right layer. Add a new layer. It adds a nice like speckled look to my background here. That background's getting pretty intense, lots of layers. <laughs> All right, so then the last brush is the dot texture. It is what it sounds like. If we go into this flower again, we go onto that clipping mask. Let's go with a white. I can come in with that dot texture and it just gives me a nice little speckled look. I can make it smaller and get a really dense speckle or make it bigger and get a larger speckle. That can also be used very large on backgrounds and such. Let's use this dark color, make it large and we could fill that in with a dark speckle. I don't really want that for this piece, but maybe I did another little border around the edge, or I could make it a lot smaller and do a, some little added elements to my border. But those are all the brushes that come in the Folksy Florals Procreate Brush Pack. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brushes. And I use them all the time. They've become brushes that are my go-tos every day when I'm creating floral pieces, lettering, um, character design, pretty much anything, I go to these brushes. So hopefully they can become your go-to brushes as well.